In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it using intuition, and you can do it using like a step-by-step -step method. Let's do it using intuition first. I'll do it up here on the top right. So this function f takes x, multiplies it by 2, and subtracts 1. So the first thing it does is it multiplies x by 2, and then it subtracts 1. That's what it does, right? 2 times x minus 1. So the inverse function undoes that. So the answer is, <laughs> let's go over it again. f takes x, multiplies it by 2, subtracts 1. To undo that in reverse order, you add 1 and then divide by 2, right? Undoing these in reverse order. So again, f takes x, multi multiplies it by 2, and then subtracts 1. To undo that, you add 1, then divide by 2. All right, what if you wanted to show some work? Well, the first step would be to rename your function. So call it y. So y equals 2x minus 1. The second step would be to switch your x and your y. So this is x equals, and then 2y minus 1. And the third step is the hardest step, and we have to solve for y. So it looks like we'll add 1 here to get rid of it. So plus 1 plus 1. So we have x plus 1 equals 2y. So let's see. It's being multiplied by 2, the y, so we just have to divide by 2. So you have x plus 1 over 2 equals y. So it's really y equals x plus 1 over 2, which is exactly what we had. And so the last step, let's just write it using the proper notation. So I have inverse of x equals x plus 1 over 2. So two ways to do it. You can do it this really cool, fancy way using intuition, or you can show the work. The problem with this method is that um, when they get harder, uh, it's really hard to do. I hope this video has been helpful.